All right, welcome everybody. Uh, thank you for joining Max Preps Office Hours for the Max Preps app um, coaching tools. My name is Haley Hughes. I'm a coach support coordinator here at Max Preps. Uh, we have with us Justin, who is a quality assurance analyst, and Aaron, who is a partnerships manager at Max Preps as well. They'll be in here um, in the chat doing their best to answer your questions as we go throughout the webinar. Um, you will be muted, so please use that chat box or the Q&A feature um, in order to get those questions asked. We'll do our best to answer them as we go. If we don't get them, we will make sure they are addressed at the end. Um, we'll also have all of our contact information um, at the end of the webinar, and we will be sending a recording of the full webinar um, once we're finished here in an email following. So if you have any questions at all, once you get that email, you can always shoot me an email back and then be happy to get um, your questions answered for you. Um, so before we get started, let's find out a little bit about Max Preps. Max Preps was created in a small town in California in between Sacramento and El Dorado Hills in 2002 by a local high school basketball coach who was looking for a better way to get his team recognition in the local media. He made it our goal at Max Preps to celebrate the institution of high school sports and to recognize that for so many young people, this will be the pinnacle of their careers and the memories that they play um, or that they make playing high school sports will be some of the best of their lives. That being said, we aim to cover every team, every player and every, and every game, no matter the size of the school or popularity of the sport. So our goal today for office hours, we're going to walk through your Max Preps app. So we're going to go through how to sign in, sign up from the app, how to get access to your team admin and log into your team admin, how to enter your roster, schedule, scores, and stats, how to add a scoreboard, add a scoreboard what a scoreboard even is, and how to turn on and off your notifications. We'll then discuss any differences between the app and your Max Preps admin on the website and answer any questions you may have. So again, please feel free to use that chat box, the Q&A box as we go. We'll do our best to answer any questions you have. If we don't get to them throughout the webinar, we will get to them at the end and we'll have options for you. If you think of any questions um, after the webinar, you'll have our contact information um, and we'll be able to get you all set up. So first things first, um, why did we create the Max Preps app? So we, we created the Max Preps app. The goal was to take your Max Preps account on the go. So everything that you see on the Max Preps website, our goal was to make, take that all and put it into an app. So everything is the same. So you never miss a moment. So as you see on the screen here, we give you real time scores, your player profiles. You can follow your favorite teams and athletes, get notifications for that. And uh, for your coach admin, you can update everything on the go. Uh, we know you guys are busy. We know. You're on the go a lot, um, so we try to give you the best ability to edit your team's information while you're on the road. Um, so a quick overview of the app, we'll just play this little video here quickly. Um, I apologize if you can't hear the sound here, um, but this is just a quick uh, little overview of the app, our marketing email, uh, or marketing video for the app, um, just letting you know everything that we have to offer. Um, and so if we move past this screen. Um, any of these questions look familiar? Uh, these questions are some of the most common questions we receive about the Max Preps app. So what can you do in the app? So as a coach, We've made it easy for you to be able to edit all of your team's information in the app. Um, so everything that you can do on the Max Preps website, you should be able to do in the app as well. Um, so you can do whatever you can do on the website, you can do on the app. So that leads into question number two, will what I input on the app show up on the website? Yes. Um, so the app and the website talk to each other. Um, but it's the same thing, we've made it that way, so that way, um, hopefully it seems pretty seamless. Um, 
everything that you enter in the app should show up on the website. Just keep in mind, um, as always, anything you update in your coach admin has a little bit of a cash delay. It'll take about 15 to 30 minutes to show up on the public side um, of the website. So if you're in your admin account, you should see your information um, listed there right away. But if you're looking on the public side, you may not see it there quite yet. How do I look at other team scores? So we'll cover exactly where to go to um, do that, but there's a lot of options in the Max Prep app for that. If you're the admin for your team um, and you're looking to look at another team's schedule, you can just click from your own schedule um, to get to that team's page. And again, we'll cover more of that in the live demo. Um, how do I edit my schedule roster score stats once they've been entered? Again, we'll cover that in the live demo. Um, there, you have the ability to add all of that information, edit and remove all of that information through the Max Preps app. And then finally, um, what can my parents and athletes do in the app? So parents and athletes, I know um, a good amount of coaches came from the Teams app as well. So that was an app we previously had um, that allowed um, parents and athletes to get on there and communicate uh, back and forth with the coach as well. Um, so with the Max Preps app, we combined all of those together. So that way parents and athletes can claim their profile still, uh, feel like they're part of the team community and get notifications and stay up to date on everything that's related to their team or their athletes. So first things first, logging into the Max Preps app. You'll want to sign up or join in the app. You can do that. You can sign up or join um, from the website or the app, either one. Um, but you can do all of that from the app. If you forgot your password, we can get you a password reset link. If you forgot which email you're using um, to sign into your coach admin account, we can also check on that for you. So if you have any questions about that, feel free to reach out to us. And we're more than happy to make sure you're all set up um, with your Max Preps account. So we'll play this little video. It's a quick little video um, about getting signed into your Max Prep app. Just shows you the steps. You click sign in, type in your information, and it should take you straight into the latest tab. So this is the screen you should see when you get signed in. You'll have tips and tricks if it's your first time signing into the app. You'll get some tips. Um, as you go, but this is where what you should see when you do sign into the app. Um, you'll want to make sure that you have access to your team. So I'll mention this again a little bit later when we go through the live demo, um, but there isn't a way for you to request access to your team on the app. So that would need to be done through the website um, if you don't already have access to your team. So if you have a new team or you need to, um, or somebody else needs to gain access to their team, they can do so through the website. Um, but I'll also show you how to grant um, another coach for your team access to your, um, to your team. So if you have questions about getting another coach signed up with access for your team or a statistician, we'll cover that in the live demo, um, how to get that done and get them access. Okay, so next, um, your quick page home links. Oops, I'm sorry about that. Um, so see the latest, the, where you land when you sign in to your Max Preps app is the latest tab. Um, so that's what you see on your screen right now. It's where you can get the latest updates from highlights, standings, photos, galleries, and more. Um, you'll see the teams you're following, scores, scoreboards. You're gonna see uh, the rankings on this page, any articles, um, your team may be in, will be listed on the latest page. This is also where you can um, search other sports as well. So you'll see at the top of the latest screen here, you'll be able to toggle between girls soccer, boys basketball, football, and all the sports that we offer at Max Prep. The next page, I apologize. Um, so the next page, uh, sorry about that. <laughs> My mouse is 
having a mind of its own, um, but your membership and admin account. So this is where you're gonna wanna go to edit your preferences within the app. So if you want to change your password, change your email address, um, this is where you wanna go to change your account information. You'll also go here if uh, you want to turn on or off your notifications. So this is where you'll go to update your push notification settings as well as your email notification settings if you want to Get more notifications for specific teams, say scores or rankings, notifications. Um, this is where you want to go to do so. Uh, you'll click that profile icon that you saw in this previous slide. Um, so right here, that profile icon will be your home base that will take you into this page that you see here with your account information. So in your settings, you'll be able to update schools, um, contact support, as well as sign out of your account. Um, You'll also from this page see your admin account. So if you have access to any team, you'll see that under admin teams. Um, and again, if you need to get access to another team, you can do so from the website. What you see on the right-hand side of your screen here is actually um, the dashboard for when you get into your admin account. So if you were to click on your admin um, from this, profile page, it'll take you into your dashboard here that you see. So inside your admin, you can manage your schedule, roster, scores, and stats. So on your screen here, this is what it should relatively look like. It should have your school colors at the top. Um, if those don't look right, reach out to us. We're able to get your school colors updated for you. Um, but up at the top of the screen, you should know that you're in the correct place when you see your school colors up at the top and pencil icons next to the information. So you'll see your schedule here as the first, uh, first photo. Um, it should have all the games you have listed on your schedule here. If the game has passed and has a score, you'll actually be able to see the score here and edit it. Um, same thing goes for any game at all. You can edit any game. So any game will have a pencil icon um, next to it. You'll click on that and that will give you the options of editing the game, entering the score, editing the score, entering stats, editing stats, and so on. So if you need to edit anything related to the game, you'll want to go to your schedule and click the pencil icon to get that game edited. Um, same thing for the roster, very similar. Um, if you need to edit or remove anything, you'll see the pencil icon next to the athletes. Um, same thing goes for the um, schedule and roster. It's a plus button in your school color. Get you the option to add a game or add a athlete or staff member. Um, so, on the roster, keep in mind, it's a little different from the website. Um, so you don't have the option to tab over from Ross, from the athletes to the staff. You actually will scroll all the way down to get to the staff um, roster. So you will have the option when you click on this plus sign to add an athlete or add a staff member. So if you were, were looking to add a staff member um, to get them access to the team, you can do so from your Max Prep app by just clicking this plus button from the roster page and clicking add staff. Next your box score. Um, so when you click on that pencil icon from the schedule, plate, schedule page and click to enter score or edit score, you should see this page here. Um, this is your box score. You're able to enter all that information into here and save it. Um, keep in mind, coaches automatically, your score will be posted. Um, to max preps, you don't need to report a score. Um, and I will show you the difference between the two uh, in the live demo, but reporting the score is meant for our fans. Um, so that's if the score hasn't been reported, we'll have the option to report a score. Um, and that will go through an approval process that takes one to two business days at the most. Um, but as a coach, you have full control over your team. So you have the ability to post the score automatically. Just keep in mind, it takes 15 to 30 minutes to post on the public side. Um, so if you're not seeing quite yet, it may just be taking a little extra time. 
So once you enter the score, you will have the ability to enter the stats. So you can't enter the stats without the score of the game in there. Um, but once you do, you'll see the option on the pencil icon to enter stats. This is what it looks like. Um, you have the ability to click on each athlete and type in their stats for that game. So you'll just click on the athlete's name. It'll have the full stat categories listed there for you. Fill that out and it'll pop you back out to fill in the next athlete's stats. Um, so that's what you can do inside your admin. Um, it's a quick overview. Again, we'll go through this in the live demo a little bit more in depth to show you exactly where to go. But that's just a quick overview of what you can do. It's fairly similar to what you can do on the website, um, just a little bit different layout. So your scores and stat entry, who can enter scores and stats? I covered this a little bit already. Um, so again, your team admin, you have full control over. So if you enter a score, there will no longer be that report a score option um, from the public side for fans. So you can prevent fans from reporting um, scores by entering that score from your app after the game is over and um, there won't be that option anymore. So again, you'll tap on that pencil icon from the schedule to add the scores and scat. And um, you'll actually also have the ability to select the player of the game once those are complete. Um, so you can do that from your app as well. The teams you follow in scoreboard. So you'll, we have the ability to add or remove favorite teams. You automatically favorite or follow a team if you have admin access to that team. So you'll see on the left here, this is the following page on the Max Preps app. I have admin access to all of these teams. It looks like I don't have admin access to this team, so I'm just following them. Um, so this is a great place to go just to check to see what teams you're following. This is where the teams you'll also get notifications for, scores, stats, rankings, and so on. Um, so if you have any questions about the teams you're following, you can manage those teams from the following page here. So if you click that edit button up at the top, you'll have the ability to add, remove, um, edit any information you want from this page. So if you no longer want to follow James Madison, you can remove them um, from this page as well. So adding or removing the scoreboard. Um, You'll want to, when you go to add a scoreboard, so you'll automatically have the scores for the teams you're following um, for that day. So say this was Thursday, September 1st. We had two games here for the um, teams that I'm following. You see that because there's stars up at the top. Um, so that means that I, those are teams that I've favorited, and that's why I'm getting the scoreboard. Um, to add a scoreboard, you have the ability to follow different metros, leagues, divisions, and associations. You can um, add any sport, any state. So um, again, I'll show you exactly where to go to do that. But what that entails is just getting all of, you'll see if you click on that scoreboard, you'll get all of that um, league or metro division, all of those scores. Um, listed there in one place. So you don't have to go search schools and write down the scores of that game to get all the information. It should just all be there in one place for you. So we tried to make that as easy as possible to follow along teams that you're interested in. Um, so moving forward, I think that brings us to our live demo. If bear with me for a minute, I switch over to my phone. Um, to share my screen there. All right.
All right, there we go. So when you log in, this is the screen you should see. This is the latest tab. It should have all the latest information. So if we scroll down on this page, you'll see articles your teams may, your favorite teams may have been listed in. If you have access to your team, you'll see your team's standings listed here. Um, so I have access to a lot of teams. Um, so this is where you'll go to see your team's standings. You keep scrolling, you'll see any photo galleries, any teams you are have access to or um, are following, you'll see all of their photo galleries here, your team rankings as well. On this page, you are also able to toggle to different sports. So up at the top, if we scroll back up, you can do this from anywhere, um, but you can see all the different sports we offer. So you can click the more tab and it'll give you all of the options for all the sports that we offer on the Max Cuts app. Let me exit out of there. Um, the magnifying glass up at the top, that's to search any team. So we get a lot of questions about how to search a specific team. Um, if you click on the magnifying glass, you're actually able to type in any team or any athlete. So if I wanted to find my athlete and I know I play girls soccer, you can search that athlete's name through here um, and it'll pull up all the athletes um, with that name as well as teams. So if we search for Oak Ridge, that'll pop up and it'll pull up all the levels as well as all the teams to take a look at um, on the app. So if you have any questions about, oh, I apologize. There we go, sorry about that. Um, so we go back to your latest tab. Um, from here, your profile icon, again, that's your home base. So what you see in the left-hand corner is that circle with a person in it. Um, you'll see that on every page on your Max Prep app. That will get you to your uh, membership account settings. So this should look familiar from the slide. Um, you should see your first and last name up at the top. And your account info, that's where you'll go to change your email and password and so on. Um, if you go to notifications, Notifications, this is where you can toggle on and off your push and email notifications for your team. So if you are not so much as interested in James Madison lacrosse, to, you can remove them as well as um, edit and allow notifications. So if you allow notifications, um, you can toggle on and off your final scores, uh, scoring updates, rankings, team stats, and so on. Um, you'll automatically get these email notifications, but you can turn on your post notifications um, and turn these off as well. So you'll automatically be turned on for your final score rankings and video email notifications. You can turn all of those off as well as toggle on and off all of these um, notifications as well, specifically for the app. Your subscriptions. So as a coach on Max Preps, we suggest staying opted in to the Coach and 80 messaging, Coach and 80 reminders, just because it's a great um, tool that we have to reach our coaches and athletic directors. So any information that Max Preps want to get, wants to get out there to our coaches and athletic directors, um, having that turned on is just one way to stay connected with us. Um, just in case that's important information for you to know as a Max Preps user. So those are, that's for your notifications. Um, if you go to your settings here, video settings is just more for um, the quality of video that you're looking for for your phone. So you can um, toggle that off. And then support, support is, will take you to our support website. So this is what it looks like. Um, so if you scroll down, we have roster correction, schedule correction, score corrections, and more. Um, so if you have any questions at all 
um, throughout the season about the app, about anything related to Max Preps, I would suggest coming to our support site. Uh, we have a great support site with a lot of information on it um, that should be able to help you out. And then, if, of course, if you can't find the information on there, there is a form to fill out um, to get in contact with us so we can help you out. Um, so keep that in mind. If you do have any questions or um, concerns, check out that support tab that's in your settings in the Max Prep app. If you're having a hard time finding a school on the app or um, just finding a school to schedule or finding a school in general, um, if you're not seeing them, but you know that they are on Max Prep, um, you'll want to click this update schools button. This will update the school database. So if it's more of a new school, it's been recently added, um, it may not be in the Max Prep app yet. If you update your school database, that should add it and you should see it there. Um, so if you have any questions about that, if you're not seeing a school um, that should be there, feel free to reach out to us. We're more than happy to take a look into that for you and get um, that school added. So to get a school added, they would need to fill out a new school form. Um, so that just comes from the school itself. So we can get that started for you or with you um, if you're still unable to find your school after searching update schools. Um, you also come to settings to sign out. So if you're not in the right account or you're looking to sign into a new account, you'll just click sign out um, and that will sign you out of the app and take you back to the sign in screen. So back to our membership page. This is where you'll also want to go to get to your admin teams. So you'll see any team that you have access to listed here. So you should see, if you have access to a team, it'll be listed here. Um, if you have AD access to a team, or to a school, I'm sorry, it will be listed here as well. If you don't, you won't see that option. Um, if you have an athlete claimed, you'll see my children here. Um, and contributions, contributions at the bottom. So contributions is just the um, scores you reported. It's not so necessary for coaches. It's more for our fans. Um, contribution, you as a coach automatically report your score. Contributions are more for um, just ex, uh, reporting scores. So again, I'll show you what that means um, on your schedule page. But um, as a coach, you automatically get to post the score instead of reporting it. So we're, we don't, it doesn't go through an approval process to be accepted there. If we go back to this page. Um, so we're back to your homepage, the latest tab. If we go to following, these are the teams you're following. You'll remember that I said, if you have access to any team, um, they're automatically going to be listed here on teams you're following. You are auto follow them. Um, but any teams you follow will be listed here. This is where you can go to edit that list as well. So if you no longer want to follow James Madison, you can unfollow them. Um, and that will unfollow them and remove them from your push notifications, email settings as well. Um, but anything that you have admin access to, you'll see here on the following tab. Um, and this is where you can also go to click into your admin. So um, we'll do that in just a minute. We're gonna tab over to the scores tab fairly quickly. Um, so this should look familiar. Any scores of teams you had um, favorited should be listed here automatically. Um, you'll also, actually see if there are live scores for that game. Um, so live scores can um, just live report the game. So they are able to score the game as they go. It's just um, reporting key plays, big plays, um, and keeping the score up to date. And then they get to post the final score as well. Um, so that's live scoring. Uh, very quickly <laughs> explained, um, but you'll see the live scores um, if there are live scores for that game listed here as well. But to add a scoreboard, click add scoreboard up at the top. 
important to note, not only varsity sports will have scoreboards. Um, so you'll select your sport, let's say fo football. Um, we're in California and I want to follow the Sacramento Metro. So you can add that scoreboard. It'll populate uh, with up here at the top. So if you click on the Sacramento scoreboard, these are all the games happening in the Sacramento Metro area uh, today um, for varsity football. So this is just a great place to go to check. If there is a live score, you'll actually see the game live here on the scoreboard. So this is a great place to go. Um, football Friday night. Um, if you're looking at a bunch of games and you want to see the scores up updating live, um, this is a great place to go to get all that information, um, play around with it. You can toggle um, to any uh, league, division, so on. So up here at the top, I quickly went over this, I apologize, but if you wanted to look at a full section or league division, um, you can do that and have all of those scores populated on one scoreboard and all be in one place. So this is a great tool to use. Um, it's um, awesome way to stay up to date with your teams that your opponents even um, or teams in your area. So really quickly, we'll head over to our coach admin. I know we're going over the time. I apologize. Um, but we'll go to to get there. I'm sorry, it exited again. Um, to get there, you'll head to your profile icon and you can click into your admin team from here. Or again, if you remember from your following page, you have the ability to click into your admin from the following team page as well. So we click here, we'll head into our football team. Um, so this is your dashboard when you land. Um, when you click into your admin, this is where you'll land. It's your dashboard. Um, gives you a quick overview of your team listed here. We'll start with roster. So if you want to add, edit, remove any players, you can do so from this roster tool. If you click the pencil icon, it'll pull up that athlete's information. You can edit that information for the athlete or delete them from there as well. Um, if you need to add an athlete, you can do so by clicking the plus button. It should be the color of your school. So it's purple for this school. Um, as you remember, I said you can add an athlete or staff member from here. So if you need to add an athlete, it'll look like this. Um, you can click to save and add another to save some time so you don't have to keep, keep clicking to add an athlete. Um, but if you wanna add a staff member, you'll enter their first last name, email, and position. Um, keep in mind that email is the email that they're going to use to log into Max Prep with to access their team admin. So make sure that that's the email that they wanna use um, to log into Max Prep, or if they already have a membership account with Max Prep, we can use that email to get them access to their team. Um, so if you're looking to add a staff member, say an assistant coach, or your head coach, or a statistician, um, you can do so from here and this will automatically grant them access so they don't have to request access from us. Um, this will give them the access so when they log in, you, they will be able to do everything you're able to do within your admin. Um, so you can see your staff list down at the bottom. So if there's anybody here that needs to be removed um, that you don't want to have access to the team, you can click that pencil icon and delete to remove that staff member. We go back, we'll go to the schedule page. So this should look similar to what you saw on the slides. Um, any game will have a pencil icon next to it. So you can edit the game information. Um, once the game has been played, you'll see the option to enter the final score and enter stats. So if you need to enter a final score for a game, you're gonna wanna click that pencil icon Next to the game, it'll pull up and look like you're editing the game information, um, but you'll see this final score option at the bottom. And if you click on that, you'll have the option to enter the final box score. Um, you'll click save and come back here, and then you'll have the option to enter stats. So 
this um, game already has stats entered. So if you click on stats, you click on the athlete, you'll see all the categories listed here. So for football, there's more than um, most sports, but there's offensive, defensive, and so on. So you can click to different stat categories um, by clicking this drop down menu if you do have different stat categories, or just scroll down and you should be able to fill out all of that information, click save, and move on to the next athlete. Um, and down at the bottom is players of the game. So um, most sports other than football will have just one player of the game to select. Um, so you can do so from your app. You just click on it and you select a player from your roster and you can type in um, your reason for choosing the athlete. And it's just a great way to get them recognition um, for everything that they've done. Um, and with that being said, I'm going to head back to the slides here. Um, and I know I covered everything pretty quickly. Um, so Aaron and Justin, if uh, there's anything I missed or um, questions that came through that wanted me to cover anything more in depth or um, at all, um, let me know. But I just wanted to thank you guys for joining us. I hope this was a little helpful for you um, with getting to know the Max Preps app and all the tools for coaches. Um, please feel free to reach out to us. We're available Monday through Friday, um, eight to five Pacific time. Our phone number is 1-800-324-7329, extension one. Or you can always reach us at our support site, support.maxpreps.com. And if you're not able to find um, the information you're looking for there, there's ability to reach out to us from there as well. Um, so again, I just wanted to thank you guys for joining us. Um, I'll give you a little bit of time to type out any questions that you may have um, in the chat. I'll stick around for a little bit, um, but I will also be sending out a recording of the webinar and an email following this. So if you think of any questions, uh, once we get out of here, feel free to shoot me an email back and I'm more than happy to um, get you the help that you need.